Back in 2017, I was on top of the world. I had just graduated high school in Yakima, Washington and moved away over here to Cheney. I had very good grades. I had a good relationship with my girlfriend. And to be honest, I was a little bit too arrogant, very cocky, full of myself. Didn't really appreciate life for what it is, if I'm being honest. Was kind of just worried about partying, going out, getting messed up. And that's not the priorities in life, you know? And so in 2017, on November 14th, my mother passed away. And my mother was my best friend. So I'm up at college in Eastern and my mom passes away and my whole world shifted upside down. I go from this cocky kid who only cares about going out and partying and being with his friends to sitting back and like having the most appreciation for life I could have ever imagined after that moment. And also just appreciating people while they're here. And I think that's something that doesn't happen a lot in our generation is that people don't appreciate people while they're here. They don't give them their flowers. And I feel so fortunate that I got to do that with my mom. Um, my mom and I went golfing a lot. We took vacations to go scuba diving. We spent tons of time together, whether it was watching movies, whether we were laughing over a glass of Chardonnay and having dinner. We spent a ton of time together. And so when I lost my mom, who was also my best friend, my whole world is turned upside down. And that's why I feel like people need to be appreciated while they're here is you never know when someone's gone. My mom passed away at the age of 54 in a tragic car accident. And she always taught me growing up, you know, never settle for anything but genuine happiness. And I was in a really dark place for a long time. For the last three years, it was really hard to not have her because that was my foundation. That was my moral support. That was my friend. That was everything. And so I feel so blessed and so fortunate that growing up, she instilled the, the motto, never settle into my mindset. Because now whenever I'm doing anything, whether that's working out, whether that's playing basketball, doing homework, relationships with my friends and family, I never settle. I want the best. I want, I'm not going to sit back and abide by everything everyone else wants. I'm never settling for me. I know what I want and that's super important and also an attribute I learned from my mom. Finally, my mom only saw me about unapologetically being yourself. And this is a tough one for a lot of people. It was tough for me for a long time, but when I was 19 years old, I thought I knew who I was. I thought I had everything figured out. And I also thought the world revolved around me. And you soon realize when you lose someone, the world does not revolve around you. The world doesn't wait for you. The world doesn't really care about your feelings. It's up to you to give yourself that self-love and get up out of bed every day and do what you want and chase what you love. And I didn't have that passion and that fire burning under me until I lost my mom. I was so complacent. I was kosher. I was happy with every, what was going on. And I lost her and everything changed. I've put, I feel like 10,000 hours into music now. I've started doing TikTok. I have a following of 40,000 people on TikTok. I do music for other people and for a long time, I was scared to do music. I was scared to go out and be myself. And after I lost my mom, I sat back like, my mom was the type of person to dance when no one was watching. And I will be damned if I haven't carried that mindset over to my life. I wasn't like that. I was scared of what people thought. I was scared that people were gonna judge me for being passionate about music or doing this or doing that. And that's not, that's not the end goal. The end goal is to be, love yourself, unapologetically be you. And so, in conclusion, the death of my mom just turned my life upside down, but almost in the best way because it gave me the perspective and the understanding to, like I said, appreciate people while they're here and give them their flowers. Never settle, keep working, working, working. I'm too busy eating my own fruit to check if yours is sweet or stop worrying about what everybody else thinks. Unapologetically be yourself. Thank you guys so much.